to an interview you'll see only on 11 News. A 16-year-old alone, sleeping on a couch when somebody breaks in. The teenager says he was in a fight for his life, so he grabbed a rifle. Tonight, that teen sat down with 11 News reporter Allison Triarcy to talk about what happened next. Ask the neighbors, and they'll tell you most of them have guns in their Spring Branch homes now because of what happened here last Thursday. This man looked at me with a, with a, with an evil purpose. Back in his hometown barbershop in Richmond, Jordan, who doesn't want to be identified, tells the story of why he killed a man. It was about 7:20, sleeping on the couch in the living room, and I'm awakened by this bang. Jordan isn't your average teen. A trained marksman, he's attended and been recognized at summer military programs. And at just 16, he'll begin taking college courses. He spent the night at his parents' rental property to make extra money repairing the house. I brought the rifle as an afterthought. You know, remember? we. Yeah. His dad actually ran through a what-if scenario, never knowing it was about to become all too true. Well, believe it or not, we said... In the case of someone kicking in the back door, here's what you do. And here's what he did when that made-up scenario became real. I ran to the back room, and on the wood floors when you're running, you can, you can hear the steps, and I started hearing the guy coming after me. And Jordan says the man chased him and was just feet from him. I saw him walk in with his pistol half-raised, which to me, it looked like a a German 9 millimeter Luger, and I, I was scared. In a second, Jordan made a choice. Fearing for my life, I, I shot him. The man collapsed, but he was still groaning in pain, and Jordan says he knew he had to get out of the house. He opened up the back bedroom window, kicked out the screen, and ran to a neighbor's for help. And It wasn't something that I wanted to do. It was just something that was necessary to protect myself. Police believe the man died in the house he intended to rob. Jordan's family feels more than just lucky. Uh, we just feel blessed. You know, we just thank God that we have him still. And with some counseling, Jordan says he'll be fine. Allison Triarcy, 11 News.